Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dark Cloud, and I just finished my grinding session, so, I was, and also while I was gone, I did enough fishing to be able to pick up a little something I could use. But before I get it, I want to show that, since I got Zack slash Moro, I... I now have access to the magical hammer. That's still a lot of fishing I would have to do. Too much for me to do. But I do want to pick up this aquamarine. And the reason I want to pick it up is for the gladius. Alright, that gives it a lot of ice, but. Alright, now I can upgrade to the spall sword if I want to, so. Yeah, I'll be doing at least a couple of weapon upgrades. So let's build up this Gladius to a small sword. Right now for this, because I've been building up from from the lowest base, I just need attack, thunder, and I'm gonna need beast, metal, and mage. And also, uh, also I built up this Basilard to to become a sh a sham shear. Yeah, it's got better weapon HP now. All right, so attack, magic power, ice, wind, holy, beast, and metal. All right, so I know what I gotta work on next. I better switch this to Thunder, and I'm going to equip it because of the dungeon I'll be going to next. Yeah, I'll equip it. Hmm. Actually, before I do that, I should... I should take some gems out of my storage. And also, between episodes, I managed to grind up the mallet to level 5 in Simp Spirit. I mean, what I got out of it was some more ice, but also Mimic and mm, Mimic, so it goes well with this frozen tuna. Once I max out its abs, I can make it a turtle shell. I'm not going to use a power up powder when I only need 40 abs. Yeah, and I got a chance to look at the growth, mm, well, at the evolution chart for the weapons, and after turtle shell is actually battle axe. So I could make myself a better battle axe if I can evolve it. If I could do my right evolutions, but before I go to Queens, I forgot to do something at Mat Matataki Village. Yeah, I was in such a crunch for time, I forgot to check one thing. And that's Zack's hut. Or, if he used his normal name, Gro's hut. Well, I wouldn't say hut, I say more of a tree house. Yeah, I want to look around. Ooh, got a grass cake. And also off screen I picked up some more repair powers. And actually I need to pick up a drain's feather before I leave. Also I gotta remember to check inside the treehouse as well. And ooh, there's a bomb. That can actually help me in the next area. So, there's no treasures in here. Yeah, 
I find it quicker to do it this way. Yeah, also when I start doing the floors of queens, I do want to try to get the, well, get the frozen tuna leveled, uh, at least leveled up to where I can evolve it. And yes, I do need a drawings feather. I'll pick up a second to spare. There we go. That's better. Now, let's finally head to Queens. Well, we went from a couple of small villages to a big city. Hmm. You think this this place will be bustling? I guess not. Hmm. In fact, it looks pretty empty. Can I think of it? I wanna set myself up here. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, day ten at night. Safe to say that the Dark Genie's been here. It has wrecked things. Per usual. So. Hey. Looks like the Dark Genie didn't get everyone. Hey. Well, yeah. Right. Were you outside the town when Dark Genie came here? Hey, Rando. Figures a game with a lot of orange RNG elements, and they have a character named Rando. Oh, you sell stuff. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now a little bit more story. <laughs> yes, they did. Oh, so you're assuming they're from the east. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> but I don't know if that general is exactly from the east. I think the story says he is. Well, it's a orb that shines like a moon. Undersea treasure, you say? Ah, oh, shipwreck. So we're going under the sea. Wait, monsters taking over this ship. Giant monster that tech. Well, we have to. Okay. How are you gonna help? Merchant trade, so. Hmm. Rare and expensive stuff. Ah, so you store your best stuff underwater. Well, why, why is it a shipwreck down there? A hundred years ago, Queen passed away, and so she was sunk underwater with the ship. They gave her a burial at sea. Oh, well, it is disrespectful.
Yeah, you probably made the best of your situation, but you might have made another situation worse. Oh, so we're going to take this submarine called the Turtle. Just going to head right down, get our treasure, and, well, look for some treasure and come back. Well, I can switch between party members, so that won't be a problem with one person going by themselves. Hmm. Okay. Oh. So, you're going to charge me no matter what. Did you figure a global crisis and merchants would stop being merchants for a while? Yes, and also this dock is a fishing spot. I consider this the worst fishing spot in the game. May the biggest reason is you cannot see what's underneath. Whereas everywhere we've been so far, we could. We could see what was in the water. And more importantly, where. And without that, I can't in good confidence suggest this fishing spot. I can however suggest the, the shipwreck as a place for abs grinding because of how easy it is to well once you once you really build out the town it's actually really easy to get the item you need to Access the back, the back floor. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to get through this quickly. I can't guarantee any success. So, this is going to be our way through the shipwreck. So yeah, now it's our third dungeon in the game. Um, yeah, the floors here are called layers. And there's... Should be a total of 17. There's an item over. Well, there is an atla over here. Ooh, got a lamp. Alright. These are gunnies. Not a good weapon for me. Well, not a good enemy for melee. So, I'm... Gonna be very like... I'm gonna very likely leave this to... Ooh, got an EV. This, that's the time you would need to be able to... Well, to fish out there, but like I said, it's not a good fishing spot. Ooh, boy, two gunnings. Ooh, I see... I don't know how good ice is. I think thunder is supposed to be better. This weapon has high weapon hit points. Alright, finally. Alright, got a map. Actually, I should go this way. Well, this way first. Alright, got a pillar. 
just need to get across. Take care of this Corsaya. Alright, there we go. Oh no. I'm gonna switch over to Trini. Maybe I can steal something from this bunny. Get that credit to the winning slingshot. Alright, the number of abs we're going to get for enemies must to be going up. I should have switched while doing that, but I didn't. Alright, now it's time to go back. There's nothing there. Nope. Jake? Is he from State Farm? Well, not in this game. Alright, so... Here's the hook, this is the item we need to, well, the item we need to go to the next floor in the, well, in the shipwreck, I mean, the next layer. Way too many gunnies, for my taste. biggest problem with using this to, to abs grind is how much how much WHP you're going to end up using because the enemies are tough enough to, to break your weapon and require massive amounts of well massive amounts of repair powder which is kind of why I prefer the ranged characters in a way to deal with them. Hmm, I want to repair it. But at least I'm close to leveling up. So it really depends on what, which, which back floor you you find. I'm gonna have to look out which ones seem to be the best ones. Actually, truth be told, I don't have to kill the gunnies anymore. I got the hook. Alright, there we go. Now I can upgrade it. Thanks to this mallet. Now, let's make this frozen tuna a turtle shell. Alright. Okay. I need to attack and... Alright, one, I think, turns into a magical hammer, I think. Alright, so... This one appears to be an easier one. I'm gonna have to look up to see what, what each one becomes. I know one of them becomes a battle axe, that's for sure. I 
think I spent too much time down here already. So I think I'll just go three floors for each. Well, I'll go with three floors for this episode and three for the next and three for the one after that. I need to... I still need to get to that... Oh, it's a ship cabin key. I would need it that anyway. And a fire attachment. Alright. Luckily, I don't need to clear out the floor. Just need to get, get those treasures. Yeah, I need to put that sundew away. Once I get a weapon that won't require a lot. Once I plan out a weapon grind, I'll make use of it. Alright, stand powder, and there's one treasure over there. Oh, it's another power up powder! I keep getting those. those two alone. I wasted more than enough time here. I wonder if I should go 4 4 3 3 3. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Simply because I'm trying to remember the nature of the boss battle here. Alright, there's a Cursed Rose. That's a new enemy. There we go. Five wipes with the mallet. Well, the, with my weapon. Oh, great. That's the curse that is. It, it's not completely awful. Just... Ah, get away from me, Corsair. You're ruining things for me. That's it. I have to heal. Holy water removes curse. And I can put this anti curse emulate on. Alright, I was not in deep range. And also, that other enemy that was on the first floor with us is Corsea. Yes, an, up an upgrade of the skeleton soldier. It can wield. It can dual wield. That's how you know it's an upgrade. Also, the item you're looking for if you want to get to the back floor is a flapping fish. It does require an ice cream and the thing about the flapping fish is it can go bad and become a rotting fish. So they also can set, you can also get ice blocks to well, to cover that. I 
I probably should have switched either to fire or holy. I think that's what I'll do. Well, fire, because... My holy weapon is now small sword. I think it doesn't have the range of the other weapons I had. Luckily there is a water spot. Uh, well, luckily there's a pool in this dungeon. Well, on this floor. Alright, got Jack. Oh yeah, I I need to switch back. And it's gonna shock. Alright, got some soap. Fireworks, well, once I get stronger, I'd be able to take out that cursed rose with it with one combo. A metal banana, some bomb nuts. deal with that gunny. I'm, I'm just going to put this bomb nut in place of a revival powder. I got an Eevee. Or is it Evie? It's just that when I see Eevee, I keep thinking of the Pokemon. got some cheese yeah at this at this point of the game I tend to go to go to cheese over bread now I'll sell the bread and I would try to save the premium chickens for in game I right, got a magical crystal I did a bit more. A fire attachment. All right, that's a cursed rose. Ooh, premium water. All right. Anti-cursing lane no longer effective. Yeah, that's what Mel Banana does. Covers the health, but at the cost of your well, at the cost of your first meter. Hmm. I'll use this because I'm not gonna have much more use for it. I'll pop this under gym when I get a chance to. Three enemies, a what appears to be a special circle. And I got two atlet to grab. Alright, I got stew. There's the hook. I'm trying 
try and focus on the Corsair. Because right now I can't, mm, I can't avoid it. And now Gunny's going to make an appearance. Yeah, the gold amounts are going to get bigger also. Oh, Max weapon hit points dropped. It's not like it's dropping mm, as bad as the sham shear. Because it's not dropping to below mm, almost 20. Mm, well, that one episode I dropped to 27. And floor number three. Well, layer three. Jeez, I'm tired of these gunnies. Alright, there's a big chest. You know what? I got two treasure chest keys. And it's a bone rapier. I picked one of those up in a, in a grind session earlier. to repair. Alright, another EV. So, it might be one of those weapons that I end up Leveling uh, just a uh, break. I need to uh, relook at what it can become. I am magical power. Guns go away. Oh, that one's on me. that mistake was on me. Say in a cursed rose. Get away, cursed rose. You've got way too much range. There we go. Tasty water. Magical crystal. And I need to deal with this cursed rose now. Alright, finally got the hook, so I can finally go ahead and avoid the enemies here. I... I've been taking a too long on these. Ooh, a push cart. Alright, got a map. I do have a hook, but I need to go back to get those atlas. ship. Hey. 
All right, King's Hideout. All right, that curse. That's a double cursed rose. That's not favorable with those two so close to each other. It can whip you, and one can whip you, and then the other one will spit it, spit it, you, and cause a curse. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take out my frustrations on this Corsair. We'll do one more floor for this episode. I just likely won't be doing any town building. It it's kind of been too long already. All right, now I can get to get to the hook. Corsaya. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I'll do next episode. I think what I'll do is. Ooh, I should go this way. There's the hook. Well, where I need to put the hook. Cabin key. Some premium chicken. Oh, it's a mimic. Actually, I'm trying to remember these ones. Can I still repair powders from them? Joker's house. And a fountain. I can kind of think of it. I'm just going to go ahead and repair this. So far, no hook. Another Corsia. Oh, it was a mimic. And I got the wrong weapon equipped to. Yeah, it's 
throwing so much soap. So much soap from, from these gunnies. Alright, got a map. I think I'll go this way first. Ooh, there's Natla. Alright, got Rudy. Oh, never mimic. Are these mimics? All right, Zach, you're up. All right, got wing. Got the hook. <sighs> Mimic again. All right. Eh. Should get me close to leveling up the green slingshot once I get a chance to. I at least got the hook so I can avoid enemies if I want. Chest that's not a mimic. Alright, so there's two at left. Left. Alright, got a spout. Those columns get in the way. Oh boy, I never mimic. Luckily, that was the last chest. I think I'll just leave, leave this area and call it an episode. Well, I won't call it a full episode yet. Now I can go up, and now I can leave. I mean, this episode is taking way too long already. Yeah, almost 45 minutes just between leveling up weapons, story, and going through those first parts of the dungeon. Yeah, I might as well sell some stuff. I want to sell these eaves. Sell some soap. I do have enough to buy a Wise Owl Sword if I want to. 
I think I'll save that for later. I mean, there'll be a better, better shot once we start rebuilding the town. Alright, get this gourd. So be sure to check around the shop and, and of course I believe you can find some chests on the around these boxes as you go through the forest. I'm not 100% sure of this so if I get it wrong I get it wrong. Alright that'll do it for this episode. Next time, I'm just going to go through floors 5 through 8, and I'll save the rebuilding of Queens for a separate episode. So, until then, I want you to have a good day, everyone. Hopefully, I'll catch you in the next video. So, until then, remember to stay safe and, and have a good day, everybody. <laughs>